many people have the idea that soy can act as a filter with the potential for self-purification, preventing the transmission of disease-carrying microorganisms from topsoil to groundwater. However, laboratory research has shown that improper application of manure can lead to groundwater contamination when pathogenic bacteria leach downward through the soil profile. E. coli, for example, can migrate more than 800 meters through the soil and survive for up to four months in aquifers. The transport of pathogens through soil must be understood to minimize potential contamination of water resources. Here at Washington State University, I'm working directly with four professors to invent a new kind of research that blends the important concepts of microbiology and soil chemistry with the real-world application of bio and chemical engineering. My research focuses on designing a carbon-rich porous material for reducing transport of E. coli 0157H7 through sandy soils. By having a better understanding as to how the bacteria move in the soil, we can design better and more effective agricultural practices with fewer environmental impacts.